election is underway, affecting tens of thousands of people in our area. It's not politicians involved, but one of the region's most important businesses. Jeff Hirsch tells us what's at stake. When PNG sneezes, Cincinnati catches a cold. The question now is hedge fund investor Nelson Peltz the cure for that cold or corporate pneumonia. Peltz of Tryon Fund Management is trying to get elected to the PNG Board of Directors. It's up to shareholders in a proxy vote. Peltz has accused the consumer products company of having a suffocating bureaucracy and claims he can increase shareholder return. Company CEO David Taylor says Peltz offers nothing on making money or making better products. We need to ensure we don't risk derailing the progress we make. I don't have bad things to say about Nelson. I just don't think he's right for our board because I don't think his interest line with what the long-term interest of this company. There are thousands of P&G shareholders in our area, including retirees and many of the 10,000 local employees, some of whom might face layoffs or transfers if Peltz wins and can influence corporate policy. If you think about Cincinnati, the direct impact would be jobs. Uh, and these are often high paying jobs. We also see a large amount of R&D spending that takes place locally. R&D has been something that's specifically mentioned that could be in line for cutting. And as you said, potentially divisions or groups uh, moved away. This is not the first time recently that P&G has faced pressure from a big time investor. Several years ago, activist Bill Ackman, who owned millions of P&G shares, pressured for cost cuts and ultimately the CEO Bob McDonald stepped down. Ackman though subsequently sold all of his shares and he was never actually on the P&G board, just a shareholder. P&G is urging shareholders to vote against Peltz. Results will come out of the company's annual meeting October 10th when we'll find out which way the shareholder tide is running. Jeff Hirsch, Local 12 News.